Alright, what's up, Laker fans? Uh, basically, this is a uh, channel that's going to be dedicated to the Kobe tour. Um, and we'll talk, you know, we'll analyze uh, each and every one of Kobe's games here in these final stretches. Um, we'll talk about, you know, the Lakers' youth, um, you know, what I, uh, what I see in D'Angelo Russell, uh, Julius Randle, you know, some of these younger guys coming along, um, Byron Scott, talk about Coach Scott and, you know, whether he should be, um, the coach of the Lakers or not, but right now what we're going to be talking about is the man, Kobe. Um, as a lot of you know, Kobe announced retirement not, not too long ago, it was about a couple weeks ago, um, announced before the Pacers game, and, uh, you know, for me, um, as a lifelong Laker fan, you know, my dad grew up, um, a Laker fan, so me by nature, you know, I was a Laker fan, and I'm 20 years old, you know, and this is Kobe's 20th year in the league, so, you know, I really kind of feel like I've basically grown up um, with Kobe. You know, I've watched him, you know, go through the struggles, um, you know, the air balls in the Utah series, and um, and then he had, you know, his success for many years where, you know, Kobe was just on a tear, you know, for about, you know, a 15-year stretch, Kobe was the best. You know, he truly was. He was the best. Um, you know, by far um, the best player of our generation. You know, I, I didn't really, you know, see Michael Jordan play. You know, I've seen uh, YouTube clips and, um, you know, I watched him um, as a wizard, you know, but obviously, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't Michael. Um, you know, so for me, you know, the best player I've, you know, I've ever seen play is definitely Kobe, you know, really without question, it's, it's Kobe Bryant and, you know, having this, you know, amazing opportunity, you know, something I'm going to, you know, grow up and, and tell my kids about, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed, you know, to get to watch Kobe and, it's been an amazing journey. It's been an amazing journey. I, uh, when I was 13, I met Kobe. Uh, I got a picture right here. Um, me and my family went to Memphis, and we watched Kobe. They put it in the newspaper. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, local boy meets NBA superstar Bryant. There's me and Kobe in Memphis. Um... I was when I was 13, and it was back in 07 when Kobe was just on that 50-point tear. Um, he had 50 points in four straight games, uh, and that was the game in Memphis where he went for 60. Basically, the story behind it is uh, me and my family, uh, you know, this is the day of the game. We were in Memphis, and we... Uh, we went out for lunch, went to TGI Fridays, and um, we're sitting uh, close to the window. We see a tall, tall black man walk in. We'll walk by the window. Oh, sorry about, sorry about that. Uh, we see a tall black man walk by the window. I instantly knew um, it was him. I instantly knew it was Kelby. Uh, he, had a, he had a Laker yellow hoodie on. Um, you know, my parents were kind of like, you know, no, no, I, I don't know. You know, my brother, he didn't think it was Kobe either. But me, I, I instantly knew it was him. You know, I could tell. He was 6'6". <laughs> uh, you know, just had that Kobe swagger, that Kobe walk coming on in. Um, but walks right on into the restaurant. Uh. 
He's on the phone. There's guards. And instantly, you know, the, the entire TGI Friday is just looking over, you know, analyzing, uh, questioning, you know, who it is. And you know, everyone's speculating. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a Laker. You know, but what Laker is it? You know, that was the big question, you know, because he, you know, he's got the hood, the shades. Um, so you can't, he's not giving out his identity. <laughs> so... Kobe walks right up to my table. I'm wearing my Laker jersey, my Kobe jersey, Kobe shoes, Kobe kicks. You know, I have the whole, the whole Kobe outfit going for me. Laker shorts. And Kobe walks right up to our dinner table. And I'll never forget it. Walks right up to me. Says, hey, little man, you going to the game tonight? And I'm just kind of like looking up at Kobe. You know, just, I, I can't believe it. It's, it's my childhood idol right in front of me. And, you know, I'm just kind of shocked. You know, I mean, a loss for words. Never in my life have I been lost for words when it comes to the Lakers, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, it was just right there, you know grown up watching this the best basketball player in the world and he's right in front of my eyes and uh we have this this digital camera of course it's dead the digital camera is dead and you know we can't snap the photo with kobe so kobe sticks around for about five minutes um, talks with my dad my mom uh, my dad, you know, goes on and tells him, you know, how big Laker fans we are. And um, my dad uh, been watching him since high school. Was really stoked when, when we acquired him. Um, so, you know, basically Kobe goes on. We don't get the photo taken. I'm devastated. Um, God damn camera. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, we go on. Kobe goes, eats his chicken fingers. He has chicken fingers. The waiter came out. And everyone was coming up to me, telling me how lucky I was to have Kobe walk right up to our table. <clears throat> um, so we go to the game. Anyway, you know, we go to the game. Kobe scores 60. And that's history. It was the third straight 50 point game, 50 or more. Uh, the next night he scored 50 uh, in New Orleans. And so Kobe does that, sets, makes history, dies Michael Jordan, and plans on breaking the record tomorrow night in New Orleans. So with all that going on in Kobe's head, um, you know, he probably, you know, he doesn't have time for 13 year old kid in his family, right? You know, you can say what you want about Kobe, but I've met a lot of NBA superstars before. I met Darren Williams uh, when he played for Utah. I've met uh, Matt Harpering. I don't know if you remember him. Utah Jazz forward, Andre Karolinko. I met a lot of Utah players. Jerry Sloan's from my area. Um, and we used to go up to Memphis to watch Utah. And Memphis play a lot. Um, but, you know, with all the other NBA stars I've met, Kobe's probably the nicest. So, getting back to where I was, Kobe, you know, he, you know, you wouldn't think Kobe would have time for, you know, just some random 13-year-old kid and his family. But my mom's sitting there pleading the case, uh, telling every guard at the arena about uh, the restaurant incident we had where, and we couldn't get the photo to snap. So, um, you know, the guards go back. Uh, well, you know, they're not really listening to my mom. Most of them aren't listening to my mom. They, you know, they, they don't believe her. They're kind of just like, yeah, right, you know, whatever. Get out of here, lady. You're crazy. We're not going to let you meet Kobe. It's not happening. Get over it. So, uh, you know, my mom, my mom's about to give up. Um, 
but my dad kind of looks at my mom like, you know, you're going to give up that easy. Like, you know, you're, you're not going to let this happen. We're not going to get this photo with Kobe. My mom goes up uh, to one of the shorter guards and um, tells him what happens. You know, told him what happened at TJ Fridays. And the guard listens out. Here's my mom out. And he said, well, you know, I'll ask him if he remembers you guys. And we're just like, okay, you know, fine. You know, that's as far as we've gotten with all these guards. You know, we actually heard out my mom. I was like, okay, you know, whatever. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll see what he says. Um, so my mom goes and uh, we wait on the guard in the tunnel. And the guard comes out probably about 10 minutes later. Says Kobe remembers you guys. He remembers you. He says y'all yeah, can come back to the tunnel, and so we did. You know, we walk on back. Um, I see Phil Jackson, Smush Parker, Lamar, Chris Mem. Um, yeah, these are the 07 Lakers. So, you know, saw a lot of a lot of great players down there, and then that's whenever. I got to snap the photo with Kobe. Um, he's in the suit and everything, so, you know, he was in his post game media press conferences and everything. Um, once he got done with that, he came on over, asked my dad if we got the camera working. You know, they kind of laughed. And, um, Kobe gave my dad a hug. We snapped the photo, and we were out of there. So, yeah, that was really a dream come true for me. I know this video is getting really long, so I'm going to wrap it up. Um, but anyway, we're going to check out these videos for uh, more Kobe retirement videos, and um, I'll have post games of each show, of each game, I'm sorry, of each game. And uh, go Lakers, go Kobe.